What's up? I'm Jarek120. I'm Caleb Morelli. Chase Duncan. And I'm going to show you guys a trick today that you can do for your friends, family, whoever you want. And this is what it looks like. It uses a pin huh? and a bottle of water. So you take the bottle of water and a pin and you put it inside just like that. Dang. Let's learn how to use them. Let's learn it. Let's yeah. learn it. Oh, God! <laughs> My foot! This is what you need. Let's check this out. You need some BBs, alright? Like, they go in a BB gun. And this is a gimmick. What the gimmick is, is you take the top off the pin, you put some BBs inside of it so it weighs down. So this is how the illusion works, right? You put a weighted pin in the bottle, like that. So now you can see the pin in the bottle right there, yeah? This is the idea. When you turn it sideways, the refraction of light, the refraction of the, the water in the bottle and the light makes it completely invisible which looks sick. So it's, it's essentially like, this is an optical illusion that we're like basing the whole magic trick off of. So like this, you can't see it. But then when you turn the bottle up, it comes into view. So that's the basic move. You need two pins. You need two pins that uh, are just like kind of thin so that when it's in the side of the bottle, laying, it'll just roll and it's not gonna, you won't be able to see it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top off of a pin. Then, making sure that you have like something to throw it away, you take the ink stick and throw the ink stick out of the pin. So now the pin is hollow. Now you're gonna take some BB swags. If I can open this up, this is not happening. You just like literally pull this off like this, like just with the top. Well, I got muscles. Oh, you have muscles. Hold up, I'm gonna let my muscles work real quick. So unless we can get this open, we can't show you how the trick works. So you need a few BBs. <laughs> <laughs> you take the BBs and you fill them up the, with the pin. So the goal is you want enough BBs inside the pin that when you shake the pin, there's not a rattling noise. Okay, so we're gonna fill this up. It's almost there. You know, this is just great. Just BB by BB inside the pin. There we go, so we're full. The goal is to not let it rattle. So we're gonna just kind of, cool. So you have the pin. Now, what you do is you put the pin inside with the tip facing up. So now it's not gonna rattle and it's weighted down. So now we already have a weighted down pin in there. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Then you need a duplicate pin. First of all, you're gonna do something uh, called the flip stick move. You're gonna take the pin and hold it in between your first finger and thumb and use your middle finger to snap it against your, uh, the middle part of your hand. The goal is to get this in to hit right in the center, just like that. Now, an extra thing is once you've practiced this, okay, so you practice this holding it and snapping it, you can clip it in between your middle finger and first finger. So once you put it inside the bottle, you can let go of it with your thumb because holding it with your thumb kind of looks like you're still holding it. But that's so the extra kind of advanced way to do it is once it goes inside the bottle, you let go like that. You have a pin and you have your gimmick with the pin inside of it. I just put that in my back pocket. So now, if you're ready to go, take a pin, you have to check it out, and they hold on to it for a second. And as they're taking it out, you take the bottle out of your pocket and you turn it sideways. So now these are the angles. So you have to bring it out sideways so that it's invisible to the spectator. So the idea is when as long as the bottle is sideways and they're looking at it like this, they're not going to be able to see the pin. Now another thing to help out is you want the top of the bottle tilted towards them a little bit. Okay? So you want it like this and like this. So it's angled towards them just a little bit and that'll help hide the pin better. So right now your angles are like from here to like right about there. Okay? So now, 
it's invisible from there. So and this is what you do for both the moves. So the first move, like we talked about earlier, is just moving it up like that. That's all you have to do to make the pin appear. You just grab it, and when you hit the bottle, you move this up. So I like to roll it, so you can show it's gone. Then you take the pin, and you're going to do that flip stick move where you snap it. So you're going to go one, two, three. I'll show you from the exposed view. I snap it like this and move it up. So now it looks like the pin, the retention of vision on it, is it looks like this is the same pin. So now what you do is you can now hold the bottle. So you kind of push the pin maybe with your middle finger and first finger against the bottle like that. And you can hold the bottle with this hand. So from the front it looks like this. And you can hold it. So you show it like this. You do the flip stick move. Bring this up so now the pin in the bottle is in view. Now from here, when you're holding the bottle, this side you're completely good. You're like, you're like chill with your angles, right? But this side, not so much. So if the person from here can see it. So usually I just turn my back my hand towards them a little bit. So now this is, a, this is a part that takes a little bit of misdirection, okay? So it's a little hard, but you'll be able to do it. This is the idea. You're going to grab the top of the bottle, and as you say, check out the bottle, this hand is going to drop down with the pin and swing. You're just going to let your hand naturally swing, like once or twice, as you reach across your body with the dirty hand, and you're going to ditch this in your back pocket. So the idea is that the kind of misdirection looks like this. So you go one, two three and you say look that's the bottle and then you ditch it in your pocket back here right and then you, your whole attention your eyes are on this so the idea is what you focus on is what they're going to focus on right so when you do the move you pause for a second and you let them see it's inside there and then you say look there's no holes in the bottle you let this hand drop down as you're focusing and you're bringing this arm across your dirty hand. You're ditching it in your pocket and then immediately bringing this hand up and showing it. This is from my point of view how you're going to see the ditch. So you take the pin, show the bottle, making sure that the top of the cap is towards them a little bit and it's flat. And you're going to make sure that the cap is facing towards them just a little bit so it's invisible. And then you're going to take the pin and you're going to do the flip stick move we talked about. And you're going to do that in sync with moving the bottle up. So this goes one, two, three. So it looks like it's the same pin. And from here, you're going to grab it with your left hand. As you show the bottle, this, your right hand is going to drop down, ditch it in your pocket. When you ditch it in your back pocket, the goal is just to keep all your attention on this. And what you focus on, once again, is what they're going to focus on. And it's going to be awesome because then they're like, oh my god, how did that pin go in that bottle? That ish was cray. And then you're pretty much going to be a god or a person that can put a pin in a bottle. The only thing you have to be careful about is when they're looking at the bottle, the pin vanishing, which would be bad. So usually what I do is I let them fill the bottle, but I hold on to it so they can like grab it or something. So when they grab it, I just say like, yo, you see that? I like I hold it, I will let them look at it, fill it but I don't actually give them the bottle completely all the way unless you want to take the cap off, pour out all the water and the pin and then put the pin back inside and then you can give it away. And the pin is a little bit heavier and it's wet, but I think most people think if the pin doesn't work, it's probably because it got messed up from the water. Another quick tip is if you're worried about them taking the bottle, examining it and like finding out that a pin can actually hide like that. What you can do is you can just take the cap off and hand it to them to look at. So then they can't turn it sideways because, or else the water will obviously spill out. So that's a nice little subtle way to just be like, look, there's no holes in it except for the hole in the top, and then you can just let them look at it. So all in all, it's like it's pretty easy. It just requires like a little bit of like crab control. Uh, that's the pin and bottle. It's a super easy trick. It's an awesome trick to show your friends or just on webcam because the visual is dope. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you like it. All right, you guys. So that's Kalen Morelli. You can check him out at youtubecom slash Morelli. Talented, powerful, smart, young, professional magician. What's some of the stuff that you? He's been got some really nice words to say.
Be inspired to learn, inspired to disturb, and always rise above. Miss! You almost hit that camera. That was insane. Like, that would not have been worth the throw if that broke your camera. At all. It would have been totally worth it.